Y2OZ428. This is Danny. Here's a little brief video of my 92 Cherokee. It's got right at 259,000 miles. It's been bedlined top to bottom. I got the bull bar off of eBay and the P of Lights for like 75 bucks. It cost the guy 40 some dollars to ship them, so he didn't make a whole lot off me that day. And we have a rough country, four and a half inch lift. We've got the drop brackets. I don't know if you can see them. And the coils, of course, the shocks. Got the 33 125015 Falcon Wild Peak ATs. And these have got right about 4,000 miles on them right now. We have trimmed the fenders to fit them. These are the stock flares. This is the driver's side flare cut and put on the passenger side. And then we reverse it and put the passenger side on the driver's side. I trim them down, it makes them wider at the rear. So it's a little bit wider at the rear. And it catches most of the most of the spray. We get a little bit. And we're not running spacers on the wheels. I don't like doing that. But um, I don't think it's too safe. Of course we got our hella cow mount lights. Got the rock rails. And here's the rear, and these, this is the right flare for this side. It's just been cut way down, moved up, and it works real well. It throws a little bit of a rooster tail. You see, we got a little bit sticking out. And here in Virginia, they're not too picky on the width of your tires sticking out. We've also got rough country springs on it. There's our differential guard. Rear end's been painted, got flames on it. Got our skid plate. Of course, here's the back, like I say, everything's bedlined. There's our roof rack. And the antenna is a K40 Plus. We talked a lot of skip out of, out of here. And uh, right now it's bent over and tied so it's not hitting the roof of the garage. I got the rest of the lights above me. I didn't particularly want to bust one. Of course, we got the class 3 receiver. I've got quite a few different attachments to put on it. A couple of drops. Uh, there's a hook. Uh, that there's a D ring. Like I say, the other side is a carbon copy of driver's side, I mean the passenger side. Of course, there's their stickers. Or call 20Z428. Of course, Auto Geek. I detail for a living, so get a lot of stuff from Auto Geek. And Virginia Off Road Sports is a local club we're here in, in Virginia. Now, there's the interior. It's kind of messy. I'm the only one that drives this thing, so. Of course, we got the good set of floor mats in it. There's not a tear in this thing, amazingly enough. And I beat it up pretty good. Like the door panels and all is in real good shape. The interior of the seats, not a tear in the seats. I just cleaned them. Just they look a little wet. They just about dry. Of course we got our fire extinguisher. Got a custom wheel we put on a couple years ago the other wheel the leather wrap was coming off and the glue was oozing through the perforations in the wheel which made a hell of a mess and the speedometer is showing 111,000 I mean 211 but that's not correct it's been broke for a pretty good while and I use the GPS for my speedometer now of course there's a superstar 3900 Got a little cheap microphone. I bought this mic 
at a truck stop when I was driving a truck up in West By God, Virginia, and it's been one heck of a little mic. Paid nine dollars for this puppy, and it uh, it works real well. I've had great success with it. Had it on a couple of different radios. Of course, there's my incline odometer. Of course, it's your normal normal Jeep interior. Nothing special about it. Of course, we got a few switches down here for our lights and uh, I don't know if you can see it for the cow lights and the also for my lights in the bumper and my other auxiliary lights. I say you got rails on this side. Uh, like I say this is the passenger side flare on the driver side and cut down to fit. Works real well. I I'm gonna trim up my fenders. I've been looking at this, I don't like it. I'm gonna go in here and cut this out, take my bumper cap off, and cut this off. And then probably go in here and maybe angle the bumper somehow down. I'm not sure what I'll exactly do. It's been a good uh, workhorse, these Jeeps. If you've had one with a 4.0 HO in it, you know they'll, they're workhorses. They'll run forever. You take care of them, they'll take care of you. And I put this one through quite a bit. I've been lucky not to really tear anything up. I did smack this um, the driver's side door on a tree on Potts Mountain and screwed the door up pretty good and had to replace the door. That's the reason the bed liner is not exactly the same as it is on this side. I left most of it on a tree. But there's a Superstar, the Dash, there's a headliner, which I had replaced, but the guy that did it didn't put enough glue on it, and it's agging. And he's out of business now, and I guess I know why. He didn't, uh, he didn't do it very well. Here's inside the inside. Got the sub, fire extinguisher, trailer light hookup. Plus, I do have brakes for the trailer wired in. First aid kit. Of course, I got my box here that's got uh, my tow ropes, tow straps, extra hooks. Uh, of course, I always carry oil. There's a drop there. And I got a high lift I'll throw in here, and I got another tire I'll throw in here when we go wheeling. Instead of having them on top. They got the rattling and carrying on, and I didn't care too much for that. But it's just a short video of the Jeep. Been a good old vehicle. I'll probably hang over to it to, uh, and hand it down to one of my grandkids. I'm pretty sure it'll still be running. But there you go, friends. All my friends across the world, my DX buddies. Hello Renee over in the UK, over in the Netherlands. Take care of my friend. 20Z428, voice of the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia Portable, saying so long and God bless.